for some reason have been in a journaling mood this year. It's 2024. I'm in a journaling mood. So I've been kind of a little bit in a journaling mood. This is my reading journal from last year. It's it's not full. It's still going. It still has things to fill up. Um, and I've done more to my reading journal, I guess. I basically finished up my 2024 setup that I have going on. Um, but I want to show you my last year's reading journal that I kind of, I finally finished because I got a printer. I got a printer. I love having a printer. Uh, <laughs> the small things in life, okay? It's the small things in life. So I thought I'd show you my reading journal from last year and then my 2024 setup because I have been obsessed with these videos that I keep seeing all over YouTube and Pinterest, video inspiration, stuff like that. So when you first open up my journal, I don't have an overhead camera, I'm so sorry, but it opens up to the list of books, which I haven't actually updated. It needs to be finished updated. There's like three books I've got to add there, but my reading journal for the first page is all the books that I read in 2023, which I was expecting to read a lot more, obviously, because that whole page is empty and it's not filled at all because there's going to be three more there. But I read quite a few books. I DNF'd a little, quite a few as well. But I read quite a few, basically front pages, just a list, a quick view of what I've read throughout the year. So then I can just like, you know, see everything that I read, what stars I rated it, when I finished it. It's pretty simple. And then next up, I have the spreads. Um, this page here was going to be my TBR. I was going to put my TBR for all the books that I wanted to read. But I never ended up doing that. But instead I put together, I was inspired by a... Uh, Pinterest actually um, for this page. It's basically obviously you've got the title, the author, and a little image of what the book looked like, the rating, the format that I read it in when I finished it, what genre it is, my little review, and then a mood board. The mood board's my favorite. I'm obsessed with these mood boards. Um, they just like basically tell you what the story was about but in pictures. I love my mood board and I love it. It's cute. So I basically, yeah, I read this winter first. And then next up, we have February. Same thing again. TBR was going to go there. I didn't end up doing that, but that's okay. But I did read Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. Basically, again, same thing. The author, the published date, the reading, the format that I read it in when I finished, the genre, my little review, the series that it's part of, and then the mood board again. I Again, I'm obsessed with this mood board. I'm obsessed with making mood boards with books, which is one thing I want to continue with this year's journal. And next, we have... More books than I finished or tried to finish in February. Um, we have Good Girl's Guide to Murders, the second book, which is Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson, and then Accidentally Amy by Lynn Painter. I was overseas when I started reading this book, but I just wasn't feeling it. It felt too quick. Like, the meet cute happened way too... It was just too quick at the start, and I stopped it straight away. But I didn't mind it. I loved Good Girl Bad Blood. I just didn't like the ending. Mood board, I'm obsessed with the mood boards in every single spread that you will see. The next we have March and April, I read nothing. Wait, March I read nothing. April is when I wanted to get back into reading because I wasn't feeling great mentally. Um, so I wanted to get back into reading, feeling like myself. So again, we have Daisy Jones and the Six and If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio same layout again it's all the same layout for every book that I read but again the mood boards are just they are just amazing I love these mood boards I'm obsessed and then we are still in April we finished the second Harry Potter book in the Harry Potter series and we finished listening to Malibu Rising which I love Malibu Rising's like mood board I love all mood boards <laughs> I love them all. So that is the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And then we have Malibu Rising mood board there. Amazing. Then we have May where I read or listened to, started the Shadow and Bone series. Again, same layout, tops the same. And then we have the mood board. Everything is the same. And then we have the second book in that series. Again, same layout, mood board down the bottom. And then I finally... Finally, June TBR, the books that I wanted. And then I highlighted the books that I had read so then I knew what I read on my TBR, which was actually pretty good, which I wanted to read The Killing Code by Ellie Marnie, Some Shall Break and None Shall Sleep by Ellie Marnie. And then I wanted to read the third Harry Potter book, which girl, I didn't do that. And now we have The Killing Code and None Shall Sleep. My printer cut off some of the photos, so they're a bit wonky, but 
yeah, again, same layout, mood board, writing, everything. Now, the reviews that are in this is actually the same review that I put on my Goodreads too. So, if you want to know what they say, they're in my Goodreads. And then we have the Some Shell Break. Some Shell Break? Yeah, Some Shell Break. Again, mood board. It's just, it's cute. And then we have our July TBR. I tried to do something cute, didn't like it, so I used white out and got rid of it. I should have just left it though. <laughs> we wanted to read Fourth Ring, Verity, We Were Liars, which I DNF'd, Silent Patient, My Killer Vacation, and What's Coming to Me. Because July is the mid-semester break here in Australia, so I was on semester break. I actually love this page. This page is one of my favourites, I think, because Verity's on there. <laughs> I love Verity. Um, I don't love Verity, the character, but I like the book. I actually love it. It looks so pretty, so cute. And then we have the housemaid's layout, which again is pretty cute. Then we have our September TBR, which I wanted to read quite a few books, which I actually read quite a few of my TBR for this month, which I'm pretty happy with. They are The Gift by Freedom McFadden, The Inheritance Games, The Crown, The Cheat Sheet, We Brought a Zoo, Local Woman Missing, and The X Hex. And we read and classified DNF as reading five of those books on that TBR, which I'm actually pretty happy with. And then this is when I made the pictures a bit bigger because they just they were quite small. So we have the X Hex and Local Woman Missing, which read this book. I actually quite enjoyed it. And then we have the gift and the inheritance game spreads. And then we have the crown. And then I forgot to print. I haven't actually I thought I did. I forgot to print off the Hawthorne Legacy book cover and a bit more images for that, but I didn't do that. But that's the spread for it. It's not too bad. You get the idea of what I'm trying to go with based off all the other images. And then I forgot to write October up top. I thought I'd finished this. I clearly didn't. Um, but we have Unnecessary Drama, which I did read. I actually quite enjoyed this book. It related a lot to me. And then we have our TBR for November, I'm assuming. And then that's where it ended. <laughs> and then that's the end of my 2023 reading journal. I stopped it. There is nothing more except for, when you turn the next page, my 2024 reading journal, which I actually preset things, which is big for me. I did quite a bit for this. So, that is our cover page. It's very plain, simple, boring, but I like it. It's simple and minimalistic. And then we open it up, and then our first page is my rating system. So you know what books I rate and the stars. And then here we have books that are coming out this year that I'm really interested to read or really wanting to read anytime, sometime soon. So yeah, they that's where they're all going to go when I see more come out. And then... I liked what I did last year with last year's one where I had the list of all the books. So I have done just that. We've got it all set out. Only book on there is Yellow Face because I finished that about two weeks, a week, two ago, a week and a half ago, a little while ago. So that's the only one that's up there. And then this spread here, it's not finished, all that, but these, I'm going to put 24 books that I would like to read in 2024 on here that are on my physical TBR, like books that I actually own so then they can be gone off my TBR, which definitely, definitely needs to happen because I have so many on there. And then here we have my series tracker, which is either all the books in series that I've already started or series that I would like to start this year. And then next page setup is my physical TBR, which I thought I could fit all my books on here. I have more than 132. I actually quite enjoyed it. Like I have, I what I did was on one page, I stuck a colored piece of paper, wrote physical TBR, and then I cut out. It's like, it's like a Dutch door, isn't it? I don't know. But I have a list from A, B, C, well, A to S of my books on my physical TBR, but it's not all of them. I needed like another two pages. So I am telling myself I can't buy any more books unless they're part of a series that I'm already in the middle of or they're gifted from me or through with used with gift cards because I have too many. So our goal is to hopefully get rid of some of these. And then our last page is what I quite enjoy. I did this all freehand actually. Um, chapter one is January. Just to let me know when January is. And I quite enjoyed the whole chapter one loading Thing, so I think I might continue doing that for every other month like chapter two will be February and yeah That's that's where it ends because I haven't filled anything out for my January Spread, but that is my reading journal from last year and this year's reading journal spreads so far I've gotten into journaling like I've even started a 
travel journal i've also started doing a work journal where i got this journal from i got it from kmart quite a few years ago it's a jot journal um which i haven't seen kmart have jot journals in a while it has the nice like black sprayed edges i quite enjoyed that where it comes to paper kmart i just got my paper cardboard paper from kmart pens i don't know what kind of pens they are they're pens i've had for years um and then i got like these textures again had them for years washi tape i got from kmart most of this stuff i've had for years and i've just like i need to use it but yeah that's my reading journal for this year and last year's reading journal um if you guys are interested in like at the end of the year to show you exactly how my 2024 reading journal went let me know um but yeah that's it for today's video i just thought i'd show you my reading journal because i'm obsessed with it um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one bye